Hey, it's Vass here from Aussie RC Playground and welcome to another episode of RC Hot Tip. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can fit two 3S hard case batteries in the armor battery trays. Now there is one car that's exempt from this and that's the Typhon, purely because once you actually have the battery stacked up on top of each other, it'll sit up too tall and you won't be able to fit the stock Typhon body back on. Now to do this, it's actually very simple. I'll quickly take the body off here and I'll show you the battery tray that is current on all the Armour 6S vehicles. Um, now, there are two straps that hold your battery in place. You've got one that goes long ways and another one that goes across. And then of course, there's this little uh, lip here that slides up and down. And uh, once your batteries are in here, this all tightens together and it kind of boxes the batteries in, really stopping them from moving anywhere. The problem that we have, and I'm sorry, but I don't have two matching hard case LiPo batteries, but I do have two of the same size, they're just different brands. Now, of course, you don't want to mix batteries like this. Um, there's a reason for that, and I'll try and put a card up in the top corner for you guys to check out, and a link in the video description as well uh, about you know running batteries in series. But this is just purely for demonstration. Um, if you have the battery going in here now, you can see that it doesn't actually fit because this doesn't go up all the way. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually remove this slip quite easily, simply pushing on the bottom here releases the the whole lid so there's like a little catch here that you can see um, and that stops it from you know sliding out so you, all you got to do is push this in and uh, that releases the lid you can tuck that away and now you can put your batteries on top of course as i said you can't do this on the typhon because they're going to be too tall and you won't be able to put the stock body back on but pretty much every other armor car you'll be able to do this now the disadvantage with doing this is that the batteries do have the potential to slide up and down uh, forwards and backwards and even side to side here because they're not the top battery is really not sitting in the tray anymore You can overcome this by putting some you know rubber So I think it's called shelf liner or something you can put a little bit of a rubber thing here And that stops the, ba the battery from sliding around or you can even use some uh, some velcro um, And stick these two together and then of course the battery straps will do the rest of the work by clamping on uh, On the batteries and, and they won't go anywhere. So that's one little cheat that you can do to run your um, 3s hard case batteries because I know there's a few people out there that have kind of struggled to find 3s batteries that fit here and uh, there are obviously those people that don't want to use soft case uh, packs because of course you can do um, 2s hard case quite easily so these will fit in here no problem uh, but when it comes to running 6s a lot of people don't want to do the, the soft case in case the batteries get damaged to put this guy back in, very simply, just line up the rods and just push down and it slides back in and uh, you're good to go. And that is how you can run two 3S hard case batteries in your armor cars. And uh, big thank you to um, the Armor Outcast 10th Anniversary Edition for demonstrating this for us. That is it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you're new. And if you found this useful, by all means, uh, you know, share it with your friends and uh, share it on your Facebook groups or what have you and might help out a few people out there. Thank you again for watching and I'll speak to you all next time.